this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts, and this is a pick a message reading focused on who's coming towards you and what is it that they're bringing with them? What is it that they are bringing towards you? All right, so we'll take a look at who this person could be as well as what their intentions are. All right, so feel free to go ahead and choose scenario one, two, or three, or you're more than welcome to watch the whole thing, and there could be bits and parts of it that resonate with you personally. All right, so general advice, always take from it what makes sense. All right, here we go. So let's start off with number one. So I'll be pulling for my Sunshine and Rainbows deck as well as my Dating Scene Oracle. All right, so number one, let's take a look. Who is coming towards you? Interestingly enough, too, this deck could describe the person that's watching this video, this reading. So if you find that it's actually describing you, it could also pick up off of someone that's surrounding you, what their intentions are. So let's see. Angels and spirit guides, please, for number one. All right, so if you chose number one, who's coming towards you? All right, number one. Ooh, we have the geologist. So this is a divine masculine representing earth signs. So Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Okay, so if that makes sense for you, this is coming through for sure as a masculine energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And it does say, we'll move heaven and earth to make you happy. We'll walk to the ends of the earth to fulfill their dream of being with you. This is someone who's mature, grounded, loyal, love partner, a comfortable home is what they can provide for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else we can learn about this person. All right, so this is a masculine earth sign. And it could be any representation in their chart. It could be sun, moon, rising, or Venus. So what is this masculine earth sign bringing towards you for number one? What are their intentions? Are they really willing to move heaven and earth for you? Let's see. Oops, that's too many. <laughs> too many cards jumping out there. All right, what is this person bringing towards you? So we have playful and lighthearted, lots of fun times together. So that's great. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify these messages for number one. I'll be pulling from my Tabby Tarot Teacher deck. So that's actually a nice combination, lots of fun times with this Divine Masculine. So Divine Feminine, this could be someone that's already in your life or somebody that you could connect with if you're single. All right, let's see. What else can we learn here? Wow, we've got the Knight of Cups coming through as well. So we have a masculine who really wants to romance the feminine here. They could be very charming. This is someone that you could be very attracted to as well, Divine Feminine. As we can see, lots of fun times together. You know, you guys might end up starting to date. Maybe this is somebody that you've already met. And if not, again, this could be for singles. But this is a relationship that might actually grow and turn into something solid. Okay, so let's see what else. Very romantic. We also have the full coming through. We have the Ace of Wands. And then we have the Queen of Cups, all right? So Divine Feminine, you're coming in with the energy of the Queen of Cups. You could have water representation in your chart. You're known to be very caring, very emotionally stable, very intuitive individual. And we might have a scenario here where the masculine could be perhaps slightly younger than the feminine, okay? They could also have water in their chart here. So I feel this is a new beginning in love for number one, you know, so either again, you're single or you're just ready for this new chapter with this person. And there's a lot of potential here. You guys definitely feel the spark towards each other. 
And I also love how we've got the Six of Swords. I'll explain that in a minute. We've got the Four of Wands, guys. So this could be a very happy relationship. Lots to celebrate here. You guys working together. It could be a Twin Flame connection. So I feel for those of you who have experienced past heartbreak and didn't have the best of luck in your romantic life. I feel you're moving on from that. This is a very healing card with the Six of Swords. You're moving forward from whatever has not worked in your life and you're just ready for a new beginning in love. So that's beautiful. And as I've mentioned, this could be something that really turns into something solid, meaning that you've found your person. You have found the one, okay? We also have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is perhaps a masculine who is letting you know here that they really want to take their time to get to know you. This isn't someone who's going to come into your life and be in and out of your life or wanting things to move too quickly, you know, and without really taking the time to get to know you. And I feel this partner could be very loyal to the partnership. This is somebody that wouldn't create any drama. The Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving person, you know, but that's a good thing in this situation, I feel, because they want to take their time to get to know you and to develop the relationship. Knight of Pentacles is also about manifesting dreams and wishes in this partnership. We do have the Six of Cups. Now, I feel for some of you, take it if it applies, this could be someone from your past who wants to start again, who wants to revive the romance. Again, this could be a twin flame connection. They still think about you and they really want to be able to move on from some of the more difficult memories and experiences that you guys might have had. You know, I feel they miss you. They think about you. Those memories wrapped up in that energy of the Six of Cups. And this is also their desire to come back into union. So if you desire that as well, I feel for number one, there is a chance that you guys could really experience true happiness in the future here. Okay, so that is number one. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some insight for number two and see what that's like okay so who's coming towards you and what is it that they are bringing towards you what are their intentions so let's grab some insight for number two so if you chose the second one angels and spirit guides please who's coming towards you for number two We have construction worker. This love connection has the ideal blueprint to ensure that there's a strong foundation for your relationship to stand on. Your love partner will be on top of their game when it comes to protecting you, building a strong bond right from the start to establish a long lasting committed partnership. The two of you can weather any storm. Okay, so let's grab an additional card from the dating scene oracle here. So a strong foundation in a relationship, that's good. All right. And this is somebody who wants a long-lasting committed partnership. Or at least that's what that's coming through as. Let's see. What are their intentions when it comes to this? We do have cat lady. Okay, now some of you guys, that might make total sense. If you've got a cat or if you're drawn to cats or an animal lover, it doesn't necessarily have to be a cat. Okay, that could be for our feminines here, of course. I feel like grabbing one more. And this one's coming through. We have best friends, lots in common, can talk for hours, love to make each other laugh. Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify and see what else we can learn about number two. You could both be drawn to cats. There could be this, this mutual bond where you guys love animals. 
And as we can see, the two of you could be the best of friends and it turns into love. All right, let's see here. So we are starting off with the Three of Wands. So if you guys are already friends and best of friends, as we can see here, part of moving ahead, part of looking towards the future is perhaps taking things out of that friend zone and exploring where love could go, you know? Because I feel this might be a masculine with the, the construction worker reference right there. And it is telling us that this love connection has the ideal blueprint to ensure that there's a strong foundation. And I feel the friendship is already creating a very strong foundation there. We have the Nine of Cups, Wish Manifestation. So I'm feeling for some of you that this might even be a friendship where you guys have feelings and attraction towards each other. But maybe you guys haven't express that to one another but i feel it's just a matter of time before those feelings come out but i feel you guys really do enjoy each other's company lots of laughter you could both have great sense of humor that could be something that you have in common we've got the six of swords popping up again so this is about moving forward you know the three of wands is about looking ahead so taking things again out of just being friends and exploring what a love connection between the two of you might actually be like. Let's see what else here. Divine Feminine, you're coming in as this fiery, passionate queen of wands. All right, so you could also represent fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It could also be perhaps the masculine who's wanting to manifest a relationship with the feminine. Okay, this could be a solid offer towards exploring where love could go. Or if you guys, again, have been friends for a very long time, and this is now a different type of exploration here, starting this new chapter for the two of you, going beyond just being best friends and perhaps being the best of lovers. You know, it could be something like that. Let's see what else here. Wow, we now have the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So this is a part of your destiny, perhaps, to be in a romantic partnership. We do see that it can last, you know, way beyond just the friendship. This could actually turn into something long-lasting here. You know, this is a turning point for this relationship. Yeah, look, we've got the Ace of Wands, so the potential for things to grow between the two of you. So for number two, I feel we're talking about two people here who are friends but have a lot of admiration and attraction and love towards each other. Maybe you guys have already explored this, and it is telling us it can be a very successful partnership beyond just being friends, you know, so... Things can simply grow from where you guys are at at this point. That looks really good. And then we have the Ace of Swords. And we've got the King of Pentacles. So we've got the Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles. So Divine Masculine coming in with the energy of Virgo. And then we've got the Queen of Wands representing that fiery energy. And with the Ace of Swords popping up here, this is Clarity of Thoughts, as we can see. This is putting the two of you in a place where you can perhaps cut, not cut the friendship out, but to be able to move forward from where you guys are at and explore love rather than just being friends, I feel. This is Clarity right here for you guys to see a whole lot clearer as to what it is that you would like to take a look at when it comes to the partnership itself. And King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, I feel would be a very good partnership. King of Pentacles could also be quite established, maybe financially or in their career. 
And the two of you would make a very compatible partnership, I'm feeling. And then we do have the Ten of Cups, so that fairy tale ending that we do see from that card. And it's a very happy energy, a very positive outcome. Okay, this is a relationship that can fill, fulfill the two of you. It's like a dream that's manifesting, a dream that's coming true for the two of you beyond this friendship, you know, and it really is having the potential to turn into something amazing by way of your love life. And then we've got the magician helping you both to be able to manifest this union coming together as lovers rather than just friends. So it's one of those things where you guys could be the best of friends and be the best of lovers. That's just the way it's coming through here. And as long as you guys are both able to move together on this, okay, we've got the seven of pentacles as well as the three of pentacles, which is about teamwork as we can see right there. So if you guys again have the same vision for this relationship, this friendship, taking things further than where you guys are at, you know, it might take time to get to the Ten of Cups, but I feel it certainly is a part of your journey with this person, your best friend, to be able to explore where love could go for the two of you. So that looks pretty amazing for number two. Friends that turn into lovers. That is how it's presenting itself here. All right, guys. So for number three, let's go ahead and see what that's looking like. Interesting message there. I love that one. All right. So number three, if you chose number three, let's see who's coming towards you. and what their intentions are. Number three. Angels and spirit guides, please, for number three, what do we need to know? All right, we have the rooster. For those of you who are familiar with the Chinese zodiac, so you could be the rooster, the person that you encounter or are thinking about could be the rooster. So Chinese zodiac birth years, we have, well, it goes back as far as 1921, but we've got 21, 33, 45, 57, 1969, 1981, and so forth. So Chinese zodiac birth years occurs every 12 years after. So feel free to look that up if you're not sure, but it does say a very loyal and trustworthy companion in a romantic partnership. You won't ever have to question their intentions. Dressed to the nines, they wanna make sure to look good for you. Sociable personality, but they'll never leave your side. A heartwarming soul bond. So that's a very nice card coming through. All right, so let's see what their intentions are in addition to that. Angels and spirit guides, please. What else do we need to know about number three? Look at this. We have hopeless romantic. All right, very romantic partnership. Okay, so let's grab some insight from tarot. I'll be pulling from my yummy tarot for this one. Angels and spirit guides, please, for number three. All right, what do we need to know? Number three. That's too many cards, too many. Number three. Okay. So we're starting off with the Ten of Pentacles, financial windfall. This person could be coming into some money, maybe you have or are about to. This could be a love connection that also either could happen in your work environment um, or it's somebody around that area, that vicinity. But I'm also feeling here that whenever I see the Ten of Pentacles, it reminds me of two people who feel very drawn to each other. It could be representing a very strong connection between two people. It could be a perfect match. I see the ten, ten of Pentacles in that way. I also am picking up off of the opportunity to be really happy and secure in your romantic partnership. Let's see what else here. What else? So we've got the Six of Wands coming through. 
victory. That victory, I feel it's going way beyond just the relationship. It's right next to the Ten of Pentacles, as we can see. So I feel you could both be quite successful in your work environment, in your chosen careers as well. So successful in love, successful in career. And then we have Ace of Swords. So we've got a couple of cards and they both say victory. So that's a really great combination for this partnership for number three. So if you're single, I feel your next relationship could be the one for you, you know, and there's this opportunity for clarity to really see what this person represents in your life and also the opportunity to cut things or people out of your life that don't deserve to even be a part of your future, okay? And that's what this person could represent. It could either be somebody brand new that's coming in or it could be a much better partnership that you have moved on to after cutting someone out that might have disappointed you or hurt you, okay? Let's see. We also have the Seven of Pentacles that is followed by the Eight of Cups. And then we have the Magician. So that is clarification here that you probably did walk away from a situation that didn't check all the boxes for you, you know? And so at this point, you're probably focusing on putting in the effort into either a new relationship or an existing one. Or you could both be putting in the effort to ensure that this relationship lasts. And for those of you who are at a distance from one another, maybe you walked away from this person. And I feel should you entertain a second chance in this partnership that that could bring you guys back together with the magician to be able to manifest a reunion here. But this is also telling us that if this person isn't willing to put in the work that's necessary, that that would be a scenario where you do walk away so they have to be able to put in the effort and the work in order to make this stick okay i'm kind of feeling that for some of you and then we have the fool so this comes down to perhaps taking a risk in love taking that leap of faith you know feeling the fear and going for it anyway there's this newness that's coming in this fresh energy Look at this. And now we've got the Ace of Cups. So I can't help but feel for some of you, this represents a new love. It could be somebody completely brand new, someone someone that you haven't met. Okay, and this might actually be your love of a lifetime. And we see them being very romantic in the connection. We also see with the rooster that this is coming through as a person who will be very loyal and trustworthy in the relationship. So if you walked away from somebody that you couldn't trust, or if there were issues there by way of infidelity or drama, that's somebody that you clearly cut out of your life. You walked away from them, and now you're really taking a look at the opportunity to just start fresh, start over. So if you're single at this point in time, maybe you're just dedicating your time and energy towards your work, your career, and when the time is right, then love will come your way as well. All right, that's what I'm seeing there. And then we've got the King of Pentacles. And then we've got the Knight of Cups. All right, so we see the reference to romance here. Knight of Cups, romantic proposals, very romantic energy. And then we see hopeless romantic right there. We also have the King of Pentacles here. So we could either be dealing with a masculine who could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We also have Virgo coming through with the King of Pentacles, the Magician representing Gemini and Virgo. So we've got all sorts of signs popping up here. So I can't help but feel either this is a new love or perhaps a second chance at love for those of you who are in separation and this is the masculine letting the feminine know that they are going to put in the work and the effort to make it stick this time that is what i'm getting they don't want to ruin this chance a second chance if they are blessed to have that you know let's see what else here let's grab one more here 
All right, so we do have the death card. This is a relationship that is transforming. It's changing. It's going through this transition. Some of you could also be dealing with a Scorpio. So even though we might have a situation that came to an end, that could have been a blessing in disguise, and it needed to create change in either your life or theirs, or for perhaps for both people involved, and this is giving you guys the opportunity for a change, you know? It's it's truly a new beginning in love, I feel, for whatever scenario you might be taking a look at for number three. Because I feel it's either, again, a brand new person coming in, or it could be a reunion for two people who are in separation and really giving it your all this time. All right, so that's what I'm getting for number three. Hopefully, guys, there's something in one, two, or three that made sense for you and your situation. And if I may be of assistance by way of a personal private reading, please feel free to check out the link down below in the description box. All right, guys. So please give me a like, share, subscribe, comment if you'd like, and I will see you guys in the next reading. Take care.